Thank you. Good evening. My name is Delilah Torres. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, I come to this forum to present a incredible injustice that has been done upon me. Um, Ms. Beach has known me very well, and I've always been an upstanding citizen. I life local residents of Big Scale. I put in an application for housing in 1991. I'm still on the list. Within that time from 1991, I had children, yes, and I have flourished. But what I don't understand is why are people that were born after I put my re application in living there now? I come forth because I was at the meeting with the board, and I gave my story, and my story is very simple. Mm -hmm. I worked hard to get where I am. Mm -hmm. I have sickle cell and epilepsy, and I have 10 children. But I also have a bachelor's degree that I achieved in 2011 and a full scholarship to Columbia that I had to put on hold. I don't have nowhere to bring my kids. And so we, <laughs> I'm sorry. So hopefully the board had a response. They to told Mr. Phipps at the meeting to move me up so I could get an apartment because it's been justified that I did do this. And he said in front of the board very happily, not a problem, come see me, I'm going to take care of you, everything's going to be good. And so I was hopeful. But when I got to his office, he told me, I don't know who you think you are, to think I can put you in front of anybody else. I'm not doing it. You'll wait the same amount of time. The earliest application we have from you is 2005. That's still eight years ago. Within those years... Yes, I have gone. I don't bother anybody. Yes, it's not easy. Yes, I am at, I am at work. And what my child, how I take care of my children is $18 every two weeks from DSS. That's all I get. Why? Because I refuse to have my children put into a shelter situation. So they take from my grant to pay $16.50 because I can't get into affordable housing. I have a one-year-old son. I have a 20-year-old son. I have a daughter that's graduating to high school this year. Where I graduated from, where I thought there was hope. And now I don't know what to believe anymore. Because I don't know anybody that can sit there and see someone with illnesses and children still accomplish what they accomplished and still give them their behind the kiss. I've been literally begging for an apartment every day. I've been at housing every day begging for an apartment to the point that Ms. Jamie states, oh, I don't want to deal with her right now. I don't want to deal with her right now. I don't want her down. I'm begging because I want a chance to do what I, what I want. I, I gave up a scholarship. That's, I worked hard for that because I refuse to have my children put in foster care because I'm going there. And I refuse to bring them to the shelter system because they didn't ask for it. But I'm asking the council, the mayor, I'm asking everybody, why do I have to go through this in order to do right? If I was out there selling drugs and getting arrested, the ones that's getting the, that's getting put in there and ejected before they even get in, I'll be in. But I'm not. I'm one of those that stood tall and tried to overcome and do what I need to do. So she must and I want to know, how can Mr. Phipps do that when he tells the board, okay, he's going to help me and then make me feel like a bald head stepchild when I get there? It's not right. And that's not fair. Well, I agree that's not right, especially if he was given a directive and he said he was going to yes, fulfill that directive. And so, um, uh, Brian, can you, since um, you do attend the board meetings. The meetings, and there is a meeting this Thursday night. Uh, yes, you were there that evening when he said. I would please come back and so we can address the board on the issue and we can tell, you know, what the executive director said when he was given a direct order and he can explain the situation. Yes. But yes, please come to the meeting this Thursday. Absolutely. Because I really, I'm, yes, like they you say, to you got to be in it to win it. I've been in peace all my life. 11 people. And Ms. Pam, you know, I work my behind. You know, I do a lot. Pam. I might you have know, kids, Pam. but I did it. And I can say I graduated 4.0 from Pace University 2011, okay, getting $18 every two weeks while I was pregnant. 
Wow. So I just want to understand and let everyone know like there's a lot of problems going on in Peekskill, but there's a hell of a lot of problems going on in housing. Because if you ain't got the right last name, if you ain't walking a certain way, you ain't getting in. I told him I'll, I'll take a studio and put all my children in it so I can give them some stability to live. I'm tired of washing clothes out by hand. I'm tired of walking my children because they go shopping because I can't afford nothing else. So I just ask you, look into that. And give me an answer on why someone who does the right thing gets done wrong. Right. And the city clerk has your contact information. Yeah, the city clerk. I have to give it to Miss Pam. Yes, but you can vouch. I, I'm not. Well, I'm just so we can get person. just so we can get back to you. We just need your yes, contact information. Yes, I'll make sure I do that. And I thank you for letting me have the floor. And hopefully, you'll get that tyrant out of there, so you can get the help. I think it'd be a less more drama during the meeting. If the wicked, if the wicked witch was gone, it'll be easier for you. Trust me. Cause I get an apartment. I'm throwing a party for everybody. Thank you. Yeah, is that what you're gonna do? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. How do you keep a straight face? Why do you try to make people? Oh my god. I'm sorry.